What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 15.3 beta 1 to registered developers less than one week after the official public release of iOS 15.2. And as usual, public beta testers, you guys should be seeing this update very soon. Now, in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 15.3 beta 1, tvOS 15.3 beta 1, HomePod OS 15.3 beta 1, watchOS 8.4 beta 1, and then yesterday we got macOS Monterey 12.2 beta 1. But in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and what's new in the software, along with when to expect the next beta release, and then eventually the final. So let's go ahead and start off with the size of this update. You can see here, coming from the official build of iOS 15.2, this update came in over five gigabytes on most devices. So you can see here on my 13 Pro Max, it came in at 5.34 gigabytes. So it's always going to be a large update when you go from final to beta or vice versa. So no big surprise there with that update size. Let's go and check out the build number for this update. So it's our settings general about 15.3 we could see here that the build number is 19d 5026g so we do have a g at the end of the build number which does indicate we have quite a few betas to go as expected and if we go down to the modem firmware you can see that is 1.31.01 and that's a very interesting version because that's actually a downgrade from ios 15.2 which was 1.32.09 so interesting there, and that could just be because this build was ready before the final release of 15.2. So before we talk about what's new in this update, I wanted to just mention that yes, this update came out on a Friday, late on a Friday, which is very unconventional for Apple, but it was not unexpected because iOS 15.3 beta 1 actually leaked straight from Apple, the IPSW file. I'll talk more about that in my follow-up video tomorrow, but it leaked ahead of time. So I think that's why Apple pushed it out today on a Friday, late on a Friday. Usually that would be unexpected, but since this was actually leaked straight from Apple themselves, it's not too surprising to see this release here on a Friday. And again, if you wanna hear more details about everything that happened behind the scenes of that, I will talk about it more in tomorrow's follow-up video, but it's not relevant to this video. So let's go ahead and talk about what's new here in iOS 15.3 beta one. So the first thing that I will mention is that 15.3 is mainly going to be a bug fix and stability update since we got quite a few new features in 15.1 and especially 15.2. So this is good, this is needed. 15.4 is likely going to bring more big features and maybe emojis and wallpapers and things like that. But 15.3 is going to focus on stability and bug fixes, which is a good thing. But there are some small changes in this first beta. And the first one has to do with the communication safety feature. So as you guys know, in iOS 15.2, one of the biggest features was communication safety and messages, where you can basically block sensitive photos, you can blur them out, make it harder to actually see them for children. So if you have you know, screen time enabled for your children, you can enable this to block out sensitive photos. So you can see here, this is what it showed on iOS 15.2 when you want to view a photo. So if your kid you know, was sent a sexually explicit photo and they tapped on view photo, they would be presented with this right here. And you can see now there are two little paragraphs right here instead of three, like there were in 15.2. And there's also some verbiage changes in what is actually said right there. So if we go back to this right here, you can see there are some changes in the verbiage right there. And then once you tap on I'm sure, you will get another pop-up to make sure again that you want to view it or if you want to message somebody. So just more precautionary you know, sentences here to let the kid know what they're about to view. And as you can see, 15.2 on the left, 15.3 on the right, there are new emojis on this page right here. And then also these sentences are changed as well. They just are a little bit more clear and a little bit more easy to read. And then also you'll see that it used to say message a grown up, but now it just says message someone. So just some minor changes to this feature. And of course, if you tap on don't view, it will not show the photo and it will go back to this page right here. And you'll see the little verbiage down there as well. Talk to someone you trust if you feel uncomfortable or need help. So I think this is a great feature and there are some minor changes to it here with 15.3. And then aside from that, we also have some minor verbiage changes inside of the podcast application and also inside of the news application for Apple News Plus. We also have a fix inside of shortcuts where you can now properly reschedule reminders with the edit reminder action. So if you were using that, 
in shortcuts, it was not working on 15.2, and now it is working on 15.3. But as far as the release notes go, you could see here the release notes are completely empty. So Apple is not helping us out at all with these release notes. It does not mention any bugs that have been fixed, that are resolved, or any that are still outstanding. So it doesn't mention anything about the Apple Music bug where that would cause battery drain. So I'm not sure if that's been fixed or if Apple just, you know, has not really updated these release notes at all. So maybe with beta two, we'll see more information, at least some information with the release notes. But now with beta one, we don't have anything to go off of. Now, I will say that when I go into my settings and go to general and then iPhone storage, I did notice that up top it populates a lot quicker now. So the calculating category sizes right there, it happens a lot quicker on 15.3 than it did in 15.2. So that might be indicative of a fix for the storage bug. So some people are still having that after 15.2, which I haven't had it in a while, but some people are still having that. But I did notice that this calculated really quickly and populated really quickly. So that could be indicative of a fix for the storage bug. You guys will have to let me know down in a comment below if you were facing that on 15.2 and then you updated to 15.3. And then some users were also having issues with iCloud backup. So if you're having issues with that, make sure to update and let me know if that has been resolved because I've not been having any issues there. But aside from that, there's really not much to talk about with iOS 15.3. Like I said, it looks like it's going to be just a bug fix and stability update. It's not gonna bring a ton of new features and changes, at least not visually, that we see forward facing. Now, as far as the performance goes, performance feels really good here on 15.3. I mean, it feels about the same as the final version of 15.2, which in my book is a win. That's a good thing for a first beta to feel just like 15.2. So no complaints there. And you can see here, I did run a Geekbench test and got a 1742 on the single core and a 4764 on the multi-core. So pretty solid results there. And once again, very, very similar to the results we got with 15.2. So I would not expect a sharp decline in performance. If anything, you might see an improvement. You know, I don't think there's gonna be an improvement. I think it's gonna be about the same as 15.2, at least just first impressions. Of course, I will let you guys know in my follow-up this week and especially next week after I've used it for a while. And as far as battery life goes, of course, it's way too early to talk about battery life yet. So I will be using this for the rest of the night and for tomorrow. And I will let you guys know my experience with battery life in tomorrow's follow-up video, but I will have a better idea in the following week, the Saturday after next, with battery life and I will let you guys know in that video how it is but I would not expect a major decrease in battery life if anything we might even see an increase in battery life better battery life if we have a fix for the Apple Music battery drain bug all right so now what's next for Apple so today is December 17th and I would expect this to be the final iOS release either beta or final for the rest of 2021 so I do not think we're going to see a new software version until 2022. So I think we're gonna get iOS 15.3 beta two in either the first week or second week of January, but it's likely going to be the second week, so the week of the 10th. So this is a big warning to those installing iOS 15.3 beta one on their device, especially a daily driver. I would really recommend not doing that, but if you were to do it, just know you're probably not going to be getting a new beta build to fix any issues you might have until you know the first week of january at the earliest so keep that in mind this is what apple usually does every single year they usually take off right before christmas and of course leading up to the new year and then come back in early january with more software releases so like i said ios 15.3 beta 2 likely coming on the week of the third or the week of the 10th and then following that sometime before the end of january i would expect to see a 15.2.1 for bug fixes until the final version of iOS 15.3 gets released, which will likely be sometime in February. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is iOS 15.3 beta one. I wish it wasn't such a boring update, but that's where we're at right now. And Apple didn't really help us out at all by providing absolutely nothing in the release notes, really nothing to go off of whatsoever. So I did go through all the settings and everything. And I didn't find anything on my initial inspection, but of course I will run through everything again before my follow-up video coming tomorrow to make sure you guys know about anything new here in 15.3 beta one. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS beta videos. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.